Come, let us settle this. Something tells me she's going to kick our ass. Also, I don't know what to attack for her. It's my turn. She's going after Crow first. <laughs> Clearly, it's the head was a good spot to go for. My turn. Was that actually right, or did I just get lucky? I think I just got lucky. Play it safe. It's my turn. So I'm definitely not doing Sephiroth Rain, not yet. There. Let's go. Don't quite have the CP to counter. Ready yourself. All right. So she's gonna go after Crow next. That's fine. Not That's enough. not good. Damn, seven grand. Now. Ten percent regen plus an extra fifteen percent total. I'll take it. Let's go. Now she's attacking Reen. Uh, I have to attack. Damn it. That's gonna hurt him a lot. Moving out. So definitely don't go for the head in this. Damn it. She counters basically everything. Ready yourself. An opening. It's my turn. Yeah, definitely going with the heal there. Moving out. Wait, why did I attack? The I'm an idiot. Let's go. It's down. There we go. Moving out. He's gonna attack again, so he actually has the ability to counter, which is good. Um. Yeah, as long as. Yeah, Crow should be safe to attack there. Really? Guard? It's my okay, turn. fair enough. So nothing we can do in that when she's in that form is useful. Now, bring it on! Ready yourself! Take this! Now! Really? I thought Morning Moon made it so that way he always attracted any attention, so I guess that's just a lie. Huh. Alright! Let's go. I'm gonna say, I hope Crow has the ability to impede because this is gonna hurt if we can't. Now, an opening. Yes. Here's a little. Moving out. No, I am short by a decent amount. Thunder of the roiling heavens. This might seal, which will be very annoying if it does indeed happen. I'll cancel. All right. It's my turn. I'll cancel isn't bad. Now, an open. All right. They're down! You're wide open! Alright, she's almost at half. An opening! My turn! Alright, he's in caution. I should be good to just charge with you. I'm up! And I think she's attacking him this turn, so I don't really need to actually worry. Oh god. An opening. Ouch. Uh, my turn. Now you're going to attack us both. All right, we'll both be able to spear it and then she can Sephiroth rain. Or we can We can actually both uh, guard and she can Sephiroth rain. That should be better. 
It's my turn! <sighs> I'm going! There! Alright! That's annoying. Take this! You're finished! <laughs> Right. I'm up. She's really gonna do that again? Now, bring it. Thunder of the roiling heavens. <laughs> okay, apparently I can't just now. guard against that. That's annoying. There. My turn. Moving out. I got you. Take this. Seriously, Nothing. he can't dodge that either while in Morning Moon. Why is Morning Moon even a thing? It's my turn. Spirit. It's my turn. There. Thunder of the. Yeah, why is Morning Moon a thing if it it's won't let him turn. dodge? Like, goddamn game. Alright, so yeah, when she's charging in this form, I can't really do anything to her. Alright! Ready or <laughs> An opening! <laughs> my turn! God damn it! My turn! All right, I don't know anything about this form, so... God damn it. Come on, just hurry up. An opening. Wait, he's... I thought he was guarding. Are you kidding me? This is gonna kill Crow. Like, literally, it's going to kill him. Like, I can't do anything. This bites. Yeah, it fucking bites. Spirit. It's my turn. Here's a. Let's go. Huh. Huh. Yay, she guards that. All right. Wonderful. I got. Take this. It's my turn. Huh. It's down. Finally, do some damage to her. Been turtling for how long? An opening. Huh. And she's gonna yeah. just instantly fucking attack, cause of course she huh. is. Thunder. Of <laughs> I can still fight. My turn. He can't even spirit. He he doesn't have enough to spirit. Uh, I'm up. <gasps> it's down. An opening. <clears throat> Ready yourself. Oh, at least he was guarding for that. I'm going. There. All right. Fine. There. Figure out something to do when she's in that form. Take an opening. Great. There. <laughs> Yeah, Crow's basically dead at this point, and it's now she's turn. going to attack again. I mean, Elliot's going to be able to heal him. Now, and open well, this bites. I'm in trouble. God damn it. He literally can't I do anything. 
It's my turn! Reach up! Thunder of- <gasps> Give me a break. Fucking hell. Fight. Spirit. I'm going there. Moving out. I should have impeded it, but fuck. You're wide open. It's my turn. Good, she's sealed. All right. Just, you know, force her to... Oh, great, she's in this form, so I literally can't do jack shit. Spirit! Yeah! There! Ready or... <laughs> An opening! <Huh. laughs> uh... Alright! Oh, well, with any luck, I seal her. They're down! Let's do it, Reen! Uh, please let this be enough. Go, I'm gonna need to synthesize some repair stones, cause fuck. Please let this be enough. Oh, thank God. You have that fight. <sighs> you messed with the wrong guy. Whew. It took a rye stone and a repair stone, but he managed it. And by rise, I mean resurrect stone. <sighs> they did it! They surpassed Lian. <sighs> Wasn't easy. So that's the power of 250 years of training. No kidding. The Steel Maiden. No, Lian Sandlot is one hell of a fight. Well done. Ashen and Azure Awakeners, it would seem this is the end. Uh, just like what happened to the boss. My lord! Now, the Ashen Knight will absorb the Argent Knight's power, adding this newfound strength to that which you won from the Palatinate Knight. You now have a significant advantage in the rivalries. But it will not guarantee your victory against the Ebon Knight. Hold on, you don't mean... Was this your plan all along? To give us your power so that we'd have a fighting chance against Ishmelga? No. I assure you, I fought with every ounce of strength I had. You simply proved to be the more powerful. All due to your trust in yourself and your allies. Between the strength Lady Le Guin and now Duvali have shown me, I feel as though I'm seeing the dawn of a new era. My lord! I have no regrets. My journey has been long. So very long. It's time for it to end. Enough of your nonsense, Leanne! No regrets. You complete and utter fool. I will never forgive you if you give up and fade away now. You have yet to apologize for not telling me of the burden you carried all those years. And what of Drykul's soul? Do you not care what becomes of him? <sighs> She's right. And what about the war? It might be impossible to stop it now. Even I know that. But you're the Lance Maiden. You helped end the War of the Lions! So please, stay here! If this 
this war gets out of control, we'll need your help to stop it. <sighs> the Jaeger King may have been tricked into becoming an Awakener, but you're different. You made this choice yourself. I should have vanished a long time ago, too. But I'm seeing this through to the end. Uh... My lord, you chose to walk this path on your own. And now, you're trying to go off to Adios on your own, too. Did I not prove to you that I am worthy of walking by your side? If you were to disappear now, then what did I fight for? It's not fair! It's just... not fair! Duvali. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. I would have been satisfied to die here, surrounded by those who carry on Dreykel's will. However, I now realize that somewhere along the way, I forgot how precious life is. You taught me that, Dreykel's. I'll live on. If at the very least, to see you once more. No, all legends must have an end. It's time to lay you to rest. Is he really going to come in and be a douchebag about this? Of course he is. <gasps> wow, what an <laughs> asshole. My lord! What a f Fucking asshole! How could I have? It's wings! <sighs> Excellent work, children. God, With now that, I really want to kill you. The third rivalry is complete. And the Auric Knight has grown in power. <laughs> Damn you! Here, Rufus Alborea. How could you? Do you even understand what you've done? It seemed as though no one was interested in these wings, and I didn't want them to go to waste, so I took them for myself. The whole point of the rivalries is to take from one another. Didn't anyone tell you not to let your guard down on a battlefield? Besides, the great war of this era is about to begin. Old legends from bygone days have no place here. No! You make me sick. How could you?! Real talk? Eustace's voice actor is the goddamn MVP. Your time is swiftly running out. Soon, the Omen will appear, and Operation Jormungan will begin tomorrow. All the preparations for the war have been finished. Supreme Commander Van Dyke will see to the rest. I will be waiting for you alongside His Excellency at the final stage. I look forward to finishing our little talk there. The final stage? What does that mean? To think my end would come like this. My lord! No! Ouch! That wound! Just like what happened to me. Leanne, just wait! 
I'm no, a- you're not. It's all right, Rose. My time is already long over. No! Please, my lord! Please don't go! This isn't how it was supposed to be. You said you'd live! Sometimes parents must lie to their children. Forgive me, Duvali, Ines, Anea. Though I never had children of my own, you were all daughters to me. (laughs) My lord. Lady Leanne! I am truly sorry for all the worry I caused you, Rose. But I am so grateful to have known you, my dearest friend. Thank you for watching over us. Kind-hearted witch. (laughs) You fool. I am the one who should be thanking you. Lady Arsaid, I can think of no one better than you to have inherited the name Sandlot. I am truly happy to have met you. Please, give my farewells to Lord Arsaid and Lady Le Guin as well. I promise I will. Leanne... I'm so sorry. I remember seeing you when you were yet very small. Perhaps it was just my own foolish musings, but I found myself thinking that if I had a son, I would want him to be like you. (sighs) You are the only person who can defeat Ishmelka now. Please... Take what little strength I have left. My long journey is finally at its end. Trichols, may we meet again if the goddess wills it. Damn. Now, I'm not one to nitpick, but that sword probably should have ripped her chest cavity apart. Just saying. That looked more like a traditional stab from a great sword wound, as opposed to that giant sword. Are we back? It's already morning. Don't weep. She lived with courage to the end. Just like the boss. She left this world with no regrets. Yeah, and she was able to pass her will on to us. You are correct. She was able to impart a small amount of herself to the Ashen Knight and his blade. Right at the end, they absorbed the final fragments of the Argent Knight's power. He looks the same as before, but something feels different about him. So this is the parting gift the Steel Maiden has granted us. She couldn't have given him a better gift. Was that... Valimar! You can talk again? Indeed. I'm glad to be able to speak freely once more. Thanks to Argreon and Arian Road, I was finally able to break free from the curse's hold on me. That's one hell of a gift. And I'm not the only one. Yeah, she really was something else. Hi, Milliam. <clears throat> Milliam? Is this really? Milly, 
Liam, what in the world is going on? <laughs> it's okay, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Heck if I know. It was probably thanks to the Steel Maiden's power. Guess it set me free or something. This is just some kind of astral projection, though. So it's not my real body. Even so, you show up again acting like nothing happened? <laughs> Man, that's one hell of a parting gift. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Steel Maiden. What a truly wonderful gift. <sighs> to the very end, you were an unabashed show-off. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. Oh man, did we miss the main event? Oh fuck, you can't be. By yourself? You! The fool. I was wondering when you'd show up. Oh, don't be like that. I'm not here to pick a fight. I... simply came to say my farewells to a longtime friend. And looks like I'm not the only one. Oh, wow. Ren, Joshua. All the enforcers. Blue Blanc, too. You were all watching, weren't you? Indeed. This was one of the reasons we agreed to help with the performance. I used my spells to keep an eye on you. I'm glad we were able to catch up. So she's really gone then. The two of us had tea together all the time. And her and Luve's sparring sessions were always a sight to behold. I'm going to miss her. Even when I had completely closed my heart off to the world, she still tried to reach out to me. If you need backstory, Joshua used to be an enforcer. He was essentially brainwashed into it by the former Third Anguis. Things won't be the same without her. Thank you for your kind words. She truly touched a great many lives. Ouroboros lost quite a valuable pawn today. It's a shame it was necessary for the rivalries. Oh well, I'm sure the Grandmaster won't mind all that much. Wait, are you- You've got some balls just showing up here by yourself. Hold on, Ash. Now's not the time. You said you weren't here to fight, right, Campanella? Right. It might be hard to believe, but I'm grieving too. To be honest though, even I find it a little strange I can feel this way. Life's just full of surprises. Hmm. He just keeps getting... She, they... Keep getting more mysterious. The vanilla. Just when I think I've got you figured out. Well, since you're here, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. What is this omen the Governor General mentioned? And what did he mean by the final stage? Now that you mention it... I do remember him saying that. And I'm guessing it has something to do with why McBurn and the Ogre Girl aren't here. <gasps> yeah, something's off. That freak wouldn't miss the chance to see a battle like this. And McBurn and Arian Road were among Ouroboros' longest members. You'd think he'd be here too. He's conspicuous in his absence. I realize he just left the tower, but still, he should have been able to make it here. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. You'll find out the reason why soon enough. Huh? Hey! Every single time. Everyone, look! Some glorious here? What the heck was that? What was that? Something flashed in the sky. Obviously. <gasps> Instructor! Reen, what's the matter? Uh, I'm fine. But this presence, it's... Yeah, I feel it too. Something big just showed up. That light. There's only one place it could have come from. Um... Yes, there's no doubt about it. I mean... I have no idea. Is everyone okay down there? 
Ollie, now's the now's the time to clue me in. I have no idea what's going on. The courageous too. Olivier, is that you? Sorry, there's no time to explain. Please come aboard quickly. God damn it! I'm at thirty Estelle, minutes. Estelle, Lloyd, and the others are with me too. Something strange is happening all over the Empire. Oh God. It started in the skies over the Osgiliath Basin. Uh huh. Am I right in my little theory that's where the Septarians collided? Oh boy. The title card went red. That's not a good sign. <laughs>